I'm delighted to say, chaps, that we're being uh, interrupted here, and you're very well, welcome quite, to interrupt right? us, okay, Kevin, by uh, Kevin De Bruyne. You're live on American television now, oh, Kevin, and we're, we're delight delighted to have you, Thank uh, you. Thank with you. us. Um, we were asking the question, and it, it's not a very testing one for you, how close to that, how close was that for you to as good as it gets? Well, I, I, I don't know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we played really well. I think, you know, the way that Arsenal press the opposition is, is top, is class. Uh, honestly, it's it's really, really good. And it's very, it's almost impossible to play from the back, especially when it's a goal kick. It's like a set piece. And we know uh, we had to play longer today. And we, we tried a couple of things in training. I think, uh, you know, I tried to get a little bit deep and then tried to run off Erling when he kept the ball. And I think we found that a couple of times and, you know, I think in the first half we, we created some chances that w this way and it was uh, important to, to set the tone. He owed you a couple of assists. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it works together, you know, obviously I, he, he gave me a few in the beginning of the season and I didn't have my shooting boots really on there, but today it was important and it was good. Kevin, it, I, I'm sure this isn't the case, but it, it seemed to us from watching it and doing the commentary upstairs that uh, Pep had said to you, just go out there and have a free roll and just play where you want to play, hurt the opposition. You were in so much space behind Partey yeah. and you looked like you really enjoyed that role. Yeah, I think normally we play a little bit with two number eights and I think he wanted a little bit more control because the way that they pressed, so Gundo would be like a double six and... I had to choose more the moments depending on who presses out of uh, Shaka or Partey. And if Partey was pressing, I would try to go in his back and yeah. the opposite around. And then it was difficult for holding and Gabriel then to do I need to go with Kevin uh, with me? And then I was staying with Erling and I, I could have find the, the, the moments in, in the first half. And obviously they switched a little bit in the, in the second half. but. You know, uh, I was a little bit more free today. Yeah. And, and with that link, I saw you two, I think it was after one of the goals where you and Erling were having a little chat in the first half. Yeah. Was that just tweaking something about, you know, as you said, if he dropped deep, you went a little bit behind and vice versa. That, yeah, that yeah, it was between. a little bit trying to find that way. I think sometimes it was difficult because they were leaving Ruben free in open play. And uh, I was just saying, if I drop deep and holding is coming with me, try and be in my back because Gabriel then needs to shrift all the way across and that's hard and I think that that's when we, we were trying to to exploit. Um, so just following on from that how much freedom does Pep give you because you're so coached all of you but you've also got that wonderful balance of being given so much freedom to make decisions for yourselves on the pitch. Um, I think um, what we train most of the times is uh, high pressing and goal kicks. Everything mm -hmm. in between is a little bit more free. So I would say the first 45 meters, 60 meters is pretty rigid in the beginning because you need to try and control because everybody tries to press you in a way these days. Uh, but once you go in the opposition half, it's more freedom and then it's trying to exploit uh the spaces that you get because everybody does it differently we we, we saw the difference in how, how you play today more down the middle you and and um harland Do, is this some sort of um acknowledgement to the wide guys today because you play obviously Grealish on one side and, and silver on the other we're a little bit on the outside looking in it was basically you you and harland just basically running the show in that space that you had i i think it's hard sometimes when you're a winger or central midfielder when when you play man v man and you get yeah. the ball always there's always somebody in your back and i think for me today when Erling had the ball, I could run forward. Yeah. So I think it's more dangerous if you have players running forward. And, you know, when you are at the back, it's a little bit of a subdued role for them. But it's so important. The more they're wide, the more spaces we get in the middle. And it, it makes it very important. To finish, Kevin, I, I won't ask you the obvious banal question about what you're going to win. Who knows what you're going to win? But we've been talking about Arsenal and what they will learn from tonight, playing against a team as good as you. How do you continue to learn from here? Where can you go as a football team from that extraordinary level? Well, I, uh, we try and maintain the consistency is the most important thing. And I think um, we don't try to put too much emotion, just the right emotion that you need to perform at the best level. But you can't get over the limit because it, there's too much going on. And <laughs> I know people will say, oh, now it's, it's done and City will win. But we've got 
almost 25% to play in the league and in between we've got Madrid. So there's a lot of things going on, yeah. but I think in a way it's good because we don't have the time to think what can happen in the future. We need to be ready in another three days to perform that we have to at Fulham and maybe that's, that's good that we have all these games coming up. Well, thank you for spending some of that time with us. We really appreciate it, Kevin. And I must say it seems a very sycophantic thing to say, but genuinely it's such a joy thank to you. see you play the football that you play. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, mate. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.